Hello there, it's Karen Ford. We're going to talk about money once again today. Uh, over the next few weeks, I want to talk to you about a poverty mindset or a prosperity mindset. And how do we know if we have a poverty mindset or a prosperity mindset? Well, let's talk about that today. I want to go over two words with you. We're going to go over this over the next three weeks. The first one is blame. Do we play the blame game? That can be indicative of a poverty mindset. Do we blame the government for our situation? Do we blame our mates? Do we blame our children? Do we blame that we don't have enough time to do what we want to do or to pursue what we want to pursue? Blame shifting is an important key in knowing and noting if we have a poverty mindset. Pay attention to what we're thinking about and what we're saying. Blame can be indicative of having a poverty mindset. Now, let's look at it like this. I, I heard somebody say one time, if you really want to do something, you will find a way. And if you don't, you'll find an excuse. Let's pay attention. What's coming out of our mouth? What words are we speaking? Are we finding ways to pursue ourselves, our career? Are we wanting to increase in finances and wealth? What are we saying? Are we finding a way or are we finding an excuse? My nephew posted something today that was absolutely powerful. So I'm going to read it to you. This is what he said. He said, if you want to ha something to happen in your life, then you're willing to do and get whatever it is you're pursuing. What are you wanting? All right. And then he said, you can set, you know, yourself on that to pursue that something that you're wanting to get. Or are you just coming up with excuses? Are you blaming your life situation or your financial situation on a person on a mate, on your children, on how much time you do have or you don't have. I thought that was so very powerful. So instead of having a poverty mindset where we're blaming people, we need to believe that we can do and achieve what we're wanting to do and achieve. The Bible says a man thinketh in the heart, so is he. So what are we thinking about? Because whatever it is we're thinking about and meditating upon is what we can become. Let's look at it this way. If we didn't believe that we could do something, we wouldn't do it. <laughs> If I didn't believe that I could become wealthy, I wouldn't be pursuing that. I wouldn't be doing it. But because I believe it, I'm going to pursue it. And I want to tell you about a story by the name of a woman by the name of Florence Chadwick. Florence Chadwick had swam the English Channel twice. And she was on the Pacific Ocean, and she was going to swim clear to Catalina Island. Well, that distance was 26 miles. She knew she could do it, but she began to swim, and there was a boat alongside while she was swimming on her journey. But what happened was a big, heavy, thick fog came in, and she couldn't see what was ahead. She swam for 15 hours, and she thought, I'm not even close. So she gave up. She stopped. Well, the boat helped her get in. And when she realized she was only a half a mile away from Catalina Island, she could have just kicked herself. I can't imagine what she was thinking. Could this be something that's happening in our own life? We're pursuing something, but then some kind of thick fog comes in and we can't see how close we are to what we are wanting to achieve. Don't give up. She decided two months later that she was going to go after that again, and she began to swim towards Catalina Island. Guess what? Another thick fog settled in, but she had decided and purposed in her life I am going to set my sights in my mind, in my thought life, that I am, I am close to that Catalina Island. She kept swimming, and do you know she attained it? She swam despite the heavy, thick fog that came in. She swam it. She believed that she could do it. She believed it, and she did it despite the circumstances that surrounded her. What circumstances are surrounding you today that you think, you know what, maybe, I, maybe I'm not really that close to achieving it. Listen, Florence Chadwick was only a half a mile away when she gave up. How close are you?
Are you wanting to give up? We must believe it. That's a prosperity mindset right there. We have to decide, look, I'm not going to blame my mate, the government, my kids, the time. I'm not, I am done with blaming. I'm going to begin believing. And just like Florence Chadwick, she believed in her heart. She thought it in her mind. She meditated on that while she was swimming. And despite the circumstances, despite the fog that settled in, she kept going and she was able to finish that race. She was able to attain the goal that she set before her. I want to encourage you today. What is it that you're looking at and wanting to achieve? Believe you can do it. Choose to have a prosperity mindset despite any circumstances or fog that may be within your vision and pursue it with all your might anyway. Have a great day and I'll see you next Wednesday again at 3 p.m. for Money Talks.